Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and today I want to talk about the Smart Lock Pistol in Titanfall. Now this is a weapon that is stirring up quite a bit of controversy among people that are playing the beta, people that want to play the game, and people that are kind of excited about the game to come out, but they're kind of on the fence about buying it. And it's the weapon that I'm using throughout this gameplay, and it is a weapon that will lock onto your targets and allow you to really shoot them without aiming pretty much. You have to maintain a line of sight with them with a little bit of room for error and then it will lock on one bullet at a time and then when you pull the trigger it will unload all of those bullets and you'll see it right here in action when I take out this enemy pilot. Three bullets takes the person down. And it, at first, I can see this weapon seeming incredibly overpowered, and right here, I have no idea why it's not locking on. I mean, I understand that he's cloaked, but I've locked on to cloaked people before, and then, then it happens to somebody who's not cloaked here in a second, and uh, I just end up shooting him. See, it's not locking on to him, so I just, I end up shooting that guy. But as I was saying, I can see how people would be kind of concerned about this weapon in the beginning, because I understand that you don't want a weapon to be overpowered, and that you kind of try to find a balance, but... You know, Respawn Entertainment's kind of had issues with weapon balance in the past. I mean, this is the same studio that brought us the dual model 1887s in Modern Warfare 2. They've kind of had instances where they haven't exactly balanced weapons properly. And I bet you kind of forgot about the model 1887s. I bet you probably forgot about that. Yeah, it's the same people, so it's not really hard to think that they could come out with a weapon that would kind of be overpowered. But after using the weapon for multiple rounds and playing with it quite a bit, I can honestly say that the Smart Locked Pistol is not an overpowered weapon. Not in any way. And even after unlocking the accelerated lock-on, I don't have it on in this match. I unlocked it a couple matches later. It accelerates the lock-on and gives you more range for a much narrower lock-on field. It's still not as effective. It's not like a massive boost to its capabilities. And it's just, it's not really as powerful as a weapon of a weapon as you would expect it to be. And people are really worried just because it has that lock-on mechanism, but the fact of the matter is, even with the accelerated lock-on, it takes so long to lock on to an enemy pilot enough times to kill them, that you're better off using the carbine, submachine gun, shotgun, <laughs> I can't get in that window to save my life, but you're much better using a different weapon for direct combat than the smart lock pistol. There are much better options in the game in the game right now. Just the SMG, any of the weapons actually, are probably much better. And it's also due to the fact that this weapon consumes your primary weapon slot. If this was a secondary weapon, I would probably say it would be a little bit too strong for a secondary. But it looks like it's, you know, it's a primary, so it looks like they might have a perk that allows you to carry two primary weapons, similar to, like, Overkill and Call of Duty. So if you have to utilize that to make this weapon a secondary, I can see that being very fair. And I don't think this weapon is too powerful. I think it says just where it should. It's really, really, really good for cleaning up grunts. That really seems to be the purpose of this weapon. This weapon is really really good when it comes to killing grunts and specters and really farming those AI kills to get your titan much 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 faster. That's where this weapon seems to shine. So where I think using this weapon should be your priority would be in a titan based loadout and a titan based obje you know when you try to really work with your titan I completely forgot how I wanted to say that. But when you just try to want to focus around utilizing a titan as opposed to direct pilot on pilot combat this is the weapon that you want to utilize. Because you can go around and you can farm the grunts really, really quick, throw a suppressor on it, nobody will know you're coming, shoot, the default loadout for the assassin has, has a suppressor on it, so just throw a suppressor on this weapon, go around, kill a bunch of grunts, kill a bunch of specters, really farm them, get your titan much quicker, and then utilize your titan. That's really where I see this weapon shining. I really see it shining here. I want you to watch this moment right here. I call in my titan. Watch this. Prepare for Titanfall, indeed. That, I felt so good when that happened. That was such a beautiful mom moment. That was just absolutely amazing. But yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb, and not even on a limb. I'm just going to come flat out and say that this is not an overpowered weapon. Y you need to lock on to a pilot three times to kill them. In the amount of time that it takes to lock on to a pilot three times, you could probably kill them twice with any other weapon. It's that long. It really does take quite a while. And a lot of the, a lot of the times that you get killed by somebody utilizing the smart lock pistol, it's a lot of times you get shot in the back or the person was camping, you know. And a lot of times that you get kills with it, it's when you're following somebody when they don't generally know you're there. And 
in those situations, using any other weapon would be just as effective. If I'm behind somebody or the person doesn't know I'm there, why take the time to lock on with a weapon when I could just aim down my sights with a carbine and take them out? You know, a lot of times where this weapon shines in pilot versus pilot combat, you're better off using any other weapon. Pretty much any other weapon. Like, even here, direct combat, I'm utilizing grenades more than I'm actually utilizing the pistol. And if I had to just use the pistol, you saw how much damage I took there. If I was using just the pistol, then it would be completely different. I wouldn't have gotten those kills. I probably would have died. And these guys, they just didn't know I was here. Like, I just... I don't know, like, yeah, I can get kills there, but if I'd had any other weapon, a shotgun, carbine, SMG, it would have done just as well for me. It would have done just as well. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the Smart Lock Pistol is a balanced weapon. In fact, when it comes to pilot-on-pilot -pilot combat, it is really underpowered. I actually think it's a bad pilot-on-pilot -pilot weapon. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky with it, but any other weapon is better, just as I've been saying this entire time. And you saw me just recently clean up a group of grunts? That's where this weapon shines. That's what this weapon really seems to be meant for. And I really think that's what it's going to be used a lot for, is cleaning up grunts. But regardless of the weapon's power, the weapon's balance, or whatever else you want to say about it, I'm really happy that the Smart Lock Pistol is in this game, for a couple reasons. And the main one is that it's a different kind of weapon. Yeah, it's a pistol that locks on, but it's something that we're not used to seeing in these kind of military-styled FPS. And this is, this is another military shooter. Another military shooter along the same lines of COD and Battlefield, but a sci-fi futuristic variant of that that I'm really having a whole lot of fun with. It's capturing that magic that I felt when I first played Call of Duty 4, and it's putting a nice twist on it and adding stuff to it that I am finding more and more enjoyable every time I boot the game up. And the Smart Lock Pistol is just one of those things that shows they're taking advantage of their setting and not wasting it. That near future technology with cloaking devices, the stim packs, the titans, the Smart Lock Pistol is just one of the elements that makes the game feel different from its peers. That I'm really happy it's there and it makes me really excited to see what other weapons are going to be in the game. Will we see other weapons with much different mechanics? mechanics that make them perform in different ways like the smart lock pistol does i don't know but it shows that they're kind of thinking about it that they're saying hey look there are things we can do that because of the uh, futuristic sci-fi setting we're able to do that we weren't able to do in the modern warfare series let's play with that a little bit let's utilize it. you can see the things even locking onto grenades so i'm guessing you'll be able to shoot grenades and mines with it when the time comes the only other thing I could think to say about this weapon is I don't know how it performs on a console. I don't know how the differences in gameplay affect its performance on an Xbox One as opposed to the PC. Because I'm playing on PC. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I, ha I have been playing on PC throughout this entire commentary. It's my main platform. And you kind of have a bit more control over your reticle on a PC because of the mouse. You can kind of keep things in your line of sight a little bit better. But enemies also have the ability to move a little bit quicker. So I don't know how the PC version of the Smart Lock Pistol compares to the console version. Maybe it is a little bit better on console where it's just a little bit harder to aim a gun and the Smart Lock Pistol has a little more time to lock on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how aim assist affects everything. So anybody that has experience on the Xbox One version of the game, I would like to see what you say in the comments to let me know how you think the Smart Lock Pistol fares on that version of the game because my experience is limited to the PC version. But at this point, I've pretty much run out of things to talk about. I thought I could carry this throughout this entire gameplay, but at this point, I'm just going to start repeating and rambling over top of myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it here, let you enjoy the last couple of minutes of this match. It's, it, it went really well. I felt that I performed very well, and I'm really, really enjoying this game. If you have not downloaded and tried the beta yet, then I suggest that you really download it and give it a shot especially if you're a fan of fps if you're a fan of what respawn did when they were infinity ward the call of duty 4 and the modern warfare series in general modern warfare 1 and 2 if you were a fan of those or a fan of shooters in general download this game and give it a shot it's really really worth it although sometimes you can't get out a window <laughs> sometimes you just can't get out a window but i have more content from titanfall coming i have another couple li i have another live commentary coming tomorrow and i'm gonna do kind of a thought slash review kind of thing for it so keep an eye out for that so as always ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching my name is matt and i'll see you next time
evac point detected. Recommend clearing area of hostiles and awaiting dropship arrival. Evacuation procedures. 